This segment of the news is brought to you by Shell Quality Fuels. We've got some breaking news for you this evening. Police say that they believe an officer has been shot while sitting in his vehicle around 3 this afternoon. He was rushed to hospital, but it's very early in their investigations, and police say details are very sketchy. We will continue to follow this developing story. The country's murder count has climbed yet again, making it the third murder in less than 12 hours. Police say shortly after 12 this afternoon, they received reports of a man being shot multiple times about the body in his vehicle in the Union Village area off Wolf Road. Assistant Commissioner of Police Anthony Ferguson. Information that we are working with at the moment is that persons in a Jeep type vehicle pulled through the corner, stopped in the area where the victim was seated in his vehicle. Um, about three men came from this vehicle and discharged several shots. The victim attempted to drive off where he crashed into a chain link fence. Um, this investigation is very early in this stage and um, we are appealing to members of the public who would have witnessed this incident today to advise the police of any information that they might have that could assist with this investigation. Also tonight, police are asking for your help in solving a shooting that has left one man in hospital and another man dead. Police say that around 3 this morning, two men got into an altercation at a nightclub on Madeira Street. One of them left and later returned on a motorbike with a third man and shot at the other man from the argument. A gunfight followed and left one of the shooters dead and another in serious condition in hospital. Two other men involved in the shooting are on the run after commandeering a car with four women inside and then caused Causing it to crash near McCullough Corner. Police tonight are also looking for this man, Lothario Sergio Mizic, aka Juvie, in connection with a shooting incident that has left a man dead overnight. Police say that around 10 last night, a man shot at another man on Deliverance Way off Malcolm Road. The shooter ran. The shooter ran away while the victim was taken to hospital, where he later died. Police say they consider Mizic to be armed and extremely dangerous. Police are also investigating two stabbings. First, a man was sitting in his truck on Robinson Road when a mob of men stabbed him about the body several times before running away. The man was transported to hospital where he remains in stable condition. The second stabbing happened in Harbor Island last night around 11. Two men who were friends got into a fight on Pitt Street. One stabbed the other with a knife and the other with a cutlass. One of the men was airlifted to New Providence where he is detained in stable condition. The other man was treated by a local doctor on the island and later discharged. Still in the family islands, police have two men in custody tonight after they were arrested in Exuma for drug possession on Saturday. Police saw the two men acting suspiciously, searched them and found one pound of weed on them. Police expect to charge both men sometime this week. Police are also tonight searching for a man who robbed a woman and sexually assaulted her. Police say around 2 this morning, a woman had just arrived at her Mount Royal Avenue home when a man ran up on her with a scissors, forced his way into her home, raped her and robbed her of an undetermined amount of cash and a flat screen television. He later fled on foot. It's going to be double the pleasure and double the fun for Wendy and Danless Curry as they welcome their two bouncing baby boys, Bryce and Brody. Their arrival marked the only birth taking place at the Princess Margaret Hospital. We caught up with the new parents leaving the hospital and they were all smiles. Asked me what I wanted. I said I always wanted twins. So I said a boy and a girl will be fine. But she said, well, you got your wish. So, um... She said, you're having twins, so it's really exciting for us, because I always wanted twins. Really excited. Um, yes. A see how the journey goes. Bryce and Brody were scheduled to come in March, but instead they came on New Year's Day. And while the new mummy was able to go home, her boys weren't able to. But she says both boys are doing well. They're expected to go home in another week. Very, very happy we are celebrating with them. On New Year's Eve, there were a number of parties that took place in Exuma to bring into the 2015. Julian Gibson attended a big New Year's blast at Sandals Emerald Bay. Fireworks, 
music, entertainment, food, and drinks, all a part of the New Year's Eve celebrations at Sandals. For those that attended, they simply had themselves a blast as they chart the course for 2015. Our goal is yeah. for prosperity, health, and fun times. We're going to have a great coming year. We're going to make lots of money and have a great time. To prosper successfully, financially, um, to succeed in my career goals. Goals for 2015, to make that lady happy right there. I thought you've been doing that all along. We just got married a week, month ago. Actually, my goal for 2015 is to continue this life. I'm going to continue to enjoy this life, closer to family, and hopefully settle down this year. Well, I had a baby 2014, so I should get rid of that um, extra 15 baby pounds. So that's definitely one of my New Year resolutions for 2015. 2015, I'm going to travel the hell out of all of the world. And my goal for 2015, um, drink some more. Reporting for the ZNS News Network, I'm Julian Gibson. And that does it for this portion of the news, but don't go anywhere. Sports is up next.